Niku is, um, you know, a uh, a piece of icy debris that resides beyond the orbit of Neptune. It's probably about 150 kilometers across, or the size of L.A. and Orange County combined. And, uh, you know, from the point of view of its physical properties, right, it's, it's a relatively typical Kuiper Belt object, but its orbit is truly what's exciting about this this new um, new body. Like you said, it orbits on its side. Pretty weird. On its side, over it's at 110 degrees orbiting on its side. So its axes are tilted, so to speak. That's right. Yeah. So if you were to uh, draw the solar system, uh, I mean, any third grader will draw the solar system kind of on a piece of paper as a bunch of concentric circles. This object comes out of the piece of paper kind of almost in the perpendicular sense except for uh it's it's a little bit worse than that it's tilted in the in the wrong way it's not just taking uh some of these circles and and putting them out of the plane it's putting them out of the plane by more than 90 degrees and so it comes from the Kuiper belt. That's a r- tell us more about the Kuiper belt. Is that is that where Drac also comes from? That's exactly right. So the Kuiper belt is just a name given to this field of icy debris that all live beyond the orbit of Neptune. One of the more famous members of the Kuiper belt is Pluto. Uh, in fact, Pluto was the the original uh, Kuiper Belt object, and what led to its demotion was the discovery of the remainder of these uh, the other objects. Uh, so, in any case, the Kuiper Belt, you know, typically has orbital periods of order hundreds of years, you know, maybe mm-hmm. two, three hundred, and uh, Niku falls exactly in that regime. Its its orbital period is almost two hundred years. So, there's nothing kind of uh, out of the ordinary about it, except for the f- its orbital plane. Right, its orbital wow. plane wow. is totally messed up. 